Oh, okay, Kumo. How to draw a Pikachu. You have to go to your window. Bring brush library. You have your brushes. The best one is, I guess. It's the same one, but then you get more. Let's say if you want ink. Get this one. Se lo saco yo. Yeah. No, pues lo que está, what are you trying to pick up? You got it? Yeah. So you have your brush and you go to the selector to make it. Here's the size. You can make it thinner you go, or thicker. Yeah. Or the opacity to make it darker or lighter. But I always like to keep it at 100%. And the size, when I do like line art, around 2.7 or sometimes just 5.9. This is good. And then for the color, oh, yeah, I go yeah. to the color wheel up here and I go, I like to work with blue because it's easier to see. And I go, I'm on the first layer, so I go, okay. This, and you say, well, this is too thick. I don't like it. So I go a little bit lower to two. So I go, okay. I'm, I'm on layer three, this layer. So I go, okay, I'm going to do my line art. And I want Pikachu to look, I don't know, to the side. And okay, I go to. Here's the, when I do characters, Yeah. the circle is the head. And this line horizontally is like, where the eye level is going to be yeah and this is where the head is going to be so if i this is three quarters view if i want to do it like looking straight on i do it down the middle because it's looking at us and the eyes will go here if i'm doing like a person so that's that's why those are guidelines when you draw so i'm just gonna erase this uh-huh me llaman el carro y me llamaron del teléfono mío. Uh -huh. Eso no es el teléfono. Y en el carro sale el teléfono mío. You're calling yourself? No, el teléfono sale en el bolsillo. Uh -huh. y, y Nancy me dice que en la mañana ella la llamaron del teléfono de ella también. O sea, cuando, tú, cuando tú ves aquí, ves el teléfono mío. Yeah. Pa, 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 pa. No. Es weird. I don't know. A mí siempre me llaman de spam. And I just don't pick up. It's better not to go. So I go, okay, here's Pikachu. Here are the ears. And I do one ear here. And then, okay, that's it. So on the other layer, I'm going to change it. Different color. I go to black. And there we go. Hola, hola. ¿Cómo está? Cuenta. No, bien, dice. ¿Cómo me lo trata? Bien. So you go here, I want to do the eyes, so you go, okay, the eyes are looking this way. Yes, and I do the nose where the cross is kind of meeting, and I do the nose. Uh, and then I want to, uh -huh. and then I go, okay, here are the ears, because the ears are black, and then I go, later on, if I were doing this more carefully, I would like zoom in. I don't think I can zoom in here. But, or, and then here's the face. Here's a little cheek, another cheek. And there we go. This is my Pikachu, how I draw it. And then you go back to the first layer and you're like, I don't want these blue lines, so you can erase it. Blah, blah blah and there you go now if you want to color it i go to another layer or I go to the original layer and i go okay i want to make red so you go to red you put this and you go to the shape of the uh you make it a little bit bigger easier to color you just fill it in Mm 
And they're like, I want yellow now. So Pikachu's yellow. You know, this one, that one looks nice. And then the color where I choose to go. You can use the bucket if you want, but it's only if all your lines are closed. And I find it easier to just do it by hand. Because I can put all the details I want. This is like an express sketch. Let's say if I go, I'm coloring all of a sudden, blam. So, oh my god. So I leave it like that for now. I just color all of this in. I'm doing it. I'm almost done. Here, the cheek. Cheek area. There we go. And then I go back to this. And I go, okay, I want that part to be black. So usually I can just cover it up because it's black. And there we go. And then over there, I went over a little and I will fix it. And I go, okay, so I don't like that it's not in the line. So I go back. I make the eraser smaller. Just erase it. And now it's like in the lines. And there we go. On this ear, that's the line art. So I gotta. There we go. There you go. That's a little, that's a little Pikachu. Express Pikachu. Yeah. Todo lo que tú hablaste está grabado ahora. Yeah, everything. So you can see it later. If you want to like pencil, you can. I don't like using the pencil that much because it's like too not as visible. I prefer using the brush pen which is this. So if you want to do like a tutorial, you just can just write like, this is claro, a eso está bueno. tutorial, blah, blah. And then you can do all your points. So if you're do doing something on one layer and then you want to do something else in another layer, like, hi, and then you don't want this, you can just go to your layer and you hide it. And you like, see, you can work on different layers. For whatever reason, you lose something, you're like, oh no, where is my layer editor? Or where is my tool editor? Do not despair. You can just go to your window and you go brush library. Well, brush library is right there. Uh, layer editor and it comes back. If you want another layer, you go to the plus, another one. If you want to delete a layer, you go to the three lines. You go delete. And then you have to notice that it's selected. So if you want to keep these two, but you want to delete, let's say this one, you go like delete. And then, oh, I made a mistake. You go to Command Z and it brings it back. Or you can do edit and you go undo and it brings it back. Okay. And that's the basics. You don't even need to worry about this very much. No? No, you just keep it there. Everything you need is either here, uh, the color wheel is, you go to window, and you go to the color puck. It can be that. Wait, not that one. Never mind. It was window, the toolbar. That's the one. You have all your tools up here. It's, it's like paint, you know, so you want to put text. You put like... Hi. And you change the font, you go to Georgia, whatever. The color can be, you go to sliders, teal, you go OK. And there it is. And you can move it. You can make it bigger. ¿Dónde sacaste esa herramienta? Este? Sí. So like T or text. This is your add text layer. Even this layer, it's here's your text layer. Or if you don't want to see it, you press blah, bye. Or the opacity, if you want to make it like lighter, more. Or if you want to, you're like, I want this layer to be the first one. So you grab it here and you move it up. And there it is. You grab it where? Yeah. Pero, o sea, que mal. Todavía me quedo un rico Bueno, ya vamos. No, galletita. Sí, galletita. Galletita sí que tú vas a comer, ¿verdad? Sí, gracias. Como de la tumba que para bueno le da dos no más. Porque si no, sigue comiendo.
Uno la agarro de... You see... ¿De verdad que lo quiere usted? No, estoy bien, gracias. Ya, como la galletita está bien. Acá tiene el ojo para la visibilidad. Acá está, what's on your thing? This, don't, don't worry about that. Like, oh, you can go, like, if I want to delete a layer, you go, delete layer. You click on the circle, click, and drag. Right? And you have all your stuff. And here, okay. At this slider, you can make it more darker or lighter. This arrow, you can move your layer up and down. So I keep it here. And then this one, this lock, locks it. So if you don't like erase it by accident, you know, it's pretty helpful. But yeah, these are this is your basic stuff. So now let's see. Okay, I finished recording. How do you erase the recording? In con este programa OBS, entonces. No, but you do it. I finished recording. Don't. I finished recording. So you go here, and you're like, stop recording.